All right, today's project is six liter manifold bolt extraction in vehicle the easy way. If you've ever purchased a, one of those goofy easy outs and you're about to use it to try to extract bro broken exhaust manifold bolts from a 6.0 or a 5.3 or 4.8, you are in for a lot more of a challenging time than you need to be. So the tools that I will be using, hold on, where are we at? So I already got the manifold off. I took the bolts out, the three that were left on the driver's side. Took them out. Oh yeah, I was looking for a flashlight. There we go. Took them out. The manifold is currently hanging. So as you can see here, I think I can actually get you a little closer. Right there, we have and the firewall bolt was not broken. One of them that usually is, usually it's the exterior bolt. So it'll either be this far back one or the front one, or the front two. In this case, there's a front two you can see. You can see right here. And it's a little tight. Right here is the head. One of the bolts. See the body, and then the head, the front one, is actually broken off inside. So you would think, well, man, there's just nothing you can do. How are you going to get that out? Because you can't even get a drill down there. Even if you wanted to use a stupid easy out, you're better off taking the whole engine out. But I'll show you how you can do it without doing anything real crazy unless you suck and never learn how to weld so I guess I gave it away we're gonna get those out with this guy right here so we're just using regular 030 hard wire my plan is plan of attack here is um, first I'm going to weld a nut on that bolt that's actually showing a body and I'm going to just back that one out and this one is a little mega tip. These heads are aluminum so when you pour the wire in it will not stick to anything except the manifold bolt itself and then uh, you can basically just fill the hole up with weld. And then once you get out to the outside of the head, once you have filled that hole up with weld, you can just stick a nut on there, continue to fill up the threaded part of the nut, and then you'll have yourself a new manifold bolt. And actually, if you build it out far enough, you might be able to reuse it. Although, I wouldn't do that. Or would I? Okay. So, things you'll need for this task is a welder. Preferably shielded gas, a flux core should work. It's just going to be a lot more uh, slag and sparks and garbage that could potentially drop into a harness or something and you know, burn something or start your power steering fluid on fire or you know, there's any number of things that could go wrong with this. So if any of them happen too, at least we'll catch it on camera. This is probably why people's uh, insurance is so high in shops. But the other thing you'll need is a welding hood. And uh, shorts and bare feet is typically what I like best. Um, I would recommend disconnecting the battery, which I will be doing here shortly, to prevent any sort of electrical charging. Although electricity is always going to take its easiest route if your ground clamp is 
nearby what you're welding it's not going to travel over there and back there and then out in the front yard and around the house and then into the backyard it's just going to go right from that bolt right to this ground clamp and back to the welder but just to be on the safe side it won't hurt to unhook that battery so like i said i'm going to begin with this one here i found myself a nut that fits over the bolt see just fits right over it i'm gonna back it off just enough so that i can stick my wire in this side basically puddle welding that nut to the stud we are ready for phase one or bolt one i don't suspect there to be much of an issue here other than just the space and which direction i'm gonna go ahead and stick this thing in here i think look at that no problem so get a little bit of stick out make sure the gas is on which it is line myself Working on a big friggin' Hummer, it's actually, you know, the front hood design is pretty sweet, but, uh, no. Should have guessed that was gonna happen. Oh, I can see it. That never happens. Oh, can't see it anymore. That always happens. I'm gonna grab another nut quick. Right, back. This. Another nut. Just enough room there for a puddle weld between the end of the body. Put my hood down and we're gonna go after it here. Battery's disconnected. Nut is welded. Now let's see if we got adequate holding power nope not quite i'm gonna slide that thing back on give it the old ouch she's hot want a little bit off to the head no it shouldn't really matter so i'm actually gonna leave it just like that do a couple of zap tacks this isn't a perfect science, you know, but... I have a feeling that that one's going to hold. So, while I'm in here, and before I get too far, whoa, push the button there with the wire. Lucky for me, These heads are aluminum, so that's not going to stick to anything. So I'm going to fill this hole up quick. That's what he said. when they're warm those bolts will come out even easier than they would normally because these things don't break off because they're stuck really hard they break off because the manifold and the aluminum heads expand at different rates and usually it's a sheer issue of the manifold actually popping the head of the bolt off sometimes the bolts are literally only finger tight they just I guess that's not shear, that's pull out, so tension. Complete opposite of shear. But that thing's obviously coming out, no problem. Got a nut for this other one. That one's gonna be a little trickier to hold it in place, sort of, while we 
Well done. You know what you want to do? You grab that under your fingers. The answer is most likely. Yep, so hot, up, so hot. Ow, 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 ow. Done. Hold up. So, now, all I need to do is get this guy wrapped up. So far, we're good here. I got, it's hard to see. I'll move my light over here a little bit. Looks like I may have missed the hole a little bit. That's okay. The socks. Can I get those manifold bolts out? Oh. Hey, you got nothing. Well, it's stuck to something. How well, we'll find out shortly. So real nice and gentle with it. Real nice and gentle like. But I think we're in business, crew. Oh, we're in business. Look at that. I had barely anything on that. Just a little, little drop of basically runoff slag hanging out of the hole. All sloppy. Stuffed a nut on there and filled that bitch in. And look at that. Look at that. We're going to take a close look at what exactly got welded here <laughs> in a second. Once I burned my fucking thing. Ow, see, I'm still hot. How do they trick you like that? Like, I mean, it's been at least 15 to 20 seconds since I welded that. Since I liquefied this metal at plus 1800 degrees, I've given it plenty of time to cool off. But it still feels hot. Like if you touch it, you know, and it just kind of like burns the hell out of your finger. And maybe even some smoke I can see down there. There it is. Doink. And that's, that's it. Both bolts are out. Let's take a gander at this one here. So. Put on some white paper. You can see, hopefully, it is a GoPro, you know. One of the better ones. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Look at that. Just a little droop hanging out of the hole. And then we stuffed a nut on there and burned her to the droop and out she came Nina what do you think <laughs> you want to weld you can do some welding <laughs> oh. Oh. where are you going with that <laughs> just putting on a show it was the west. Yeah. What are you oh, filming there? Filming mommy. Filming mommy, yeah. 
Hi, Hi mommy. Daddy. <laughs> you got a new film crew. it up like this so you can see her. Hi. Oh no. No, oh, it's okay. Let's push the screen. Mommy? That would be awesome. Just like a full girl for her. Just her to carry her on and film whatever. Well, I guess that's it for how to remove broken <laughs> exhaust manifold bolts and LS engines. Till next time. Say bye, Lena. Say bye bye. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> we'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe, punch that like button for more content related to more fun things like the turbo jeep.